Welcome to the video, everyone. This is the G6A. As you guys may be able to tell, HE launcher at 6.7, kind of like the M109 is for the US and Germany, and I believe a couple other nations, but let's hop right in. So right as we hop in, you guys may notice this vehicle is kind of taking up a ton of the screen. And I would think that would be one of the major downsides of this vehicle. Your armor is paper thin and you take up a absolutely beastly amount of space. As you guys can see, those wheels are probably like, I don't know, they could easily be like five feet, uh, five feet fully across, which is pretty insane. And by the way, I said fully across because I forgot whether it's radius or diameter or whatever the heck that is. Shells sometimes just do nothing on me, but that is for I wish any vehicle with good size. That is a Panda, I believe. Hello, sir. And he's no longer a Panda. Look, we lost two tires and now we're just. This is why the G6 doesn't really work. Come on. I love how it just didn't have an explosion. Like, how much explosive mass does this have? 8.7 kilograms. 8.7 kilos of explosive. I'm explosive loaded. And we couldn't kill an M18 by hitting right next to him. There he goes. We hit him. Good. Maybe we can uh, Maybe we cannot. We'll have to see. No. Welcome to the third match, and this is probably going to be my third and final match, actually, because of how this vehicle is performing. While it may have six crew and a fairly decent gun size, it's just not working against the American heavies that I continue to face. T-34s, Tiger 2s, you have to strike that cupola, and hitting that cupola is incessantly annoying i've had multiple times where i've hit the cupola just done absolutely zero and got nailed the second afterwards by the guy i just hit the cupola of. so really having a great time you know this is a video i've been trying to produce for a while and it's just always had this issue like I said, nice. oh and that's the anyway, okay. Yeah, he's getting closer to victory. Let's see how I get it. Nice. See ya. Oh, I'm so lucky he was absolutely blind. Hey, look. There's what looks like a Sherman. So I'm gonna do the rescue thing. And do the absolutely massive peak that I have to do to get an eyeball on. There he goes. Now I can push up on this guy. And he is Dunzos. That was a jumbo, so fairly solid kill over pressure side of the turret, you know. The jumbo from the side isn't that weak actually. No, that's a solid kill. Uh oh, I hear a plane. What is this guy? He looks like an American tank as well. Oh, he, oh yeah, he could be. Uh, what this? Do not get your gunner back, please. Or even the commander, I guess. Hello, sir. High explosive loaded. Are you freaking kidding me? Come on. I spent like eight years waiting on that shot, Tiger. 
ABC, my man, come on. Good no idea. Come on. Are you kidding me? Oh, the lag has it. Really hit that one guy with the 12k? Couldn't have, couldn't have let me take it and then on their spawn or something? I want to thank everyone who came out and watched this video on the G6. My overall kind of idea of what the G6 is, is kind of a worse tank destroyer. Like, it doesn't pen a lot. Oh, okay. It doesn't pen a lot. Um, while it does have a decent amount of explosive, it doesn't really deal damage unless you direct hit the target. And the wheels on the sides are just an absolute a-hole move. Uh, all you gotta do is shoot one of those wheels and the G6 is 100% done. Really all you gotta do is shoot through the wheels. They're just stuck. It's actually something you could do to annoy them. Just put them. Any tank can do it. And you have no armor, which just adds on to the mockery. Because as you guys could see, I got killed by a 50 kilogram bomb after running away from it for like 5 seconds. Which is pretty dismal. Hey, happy Halloween, guys. I hope I get a video out, another video out before Halloween, but if that does not happen, happy Halloween and Garda 3D. Peace out. Ah!